followed this three big fellas and uh, eight runners. As Leaf stands to the goal line, looking around and throws to the sideline. Incomplete. Incomplete for the receiver and uh, not intercepted by Woodson. I don't think I'd be throwing the ball toward uh, Charles Woodson when I had only two snaps. The key here is, is pressure on the quarterback. I mean, if you don't pressure the quarterback and give him all kinds of time, these receivers are good enough to get down the secondary and run crossing routes and, and gain some big yardage. Second down and 10 with 21 seconds. He's going down the center. Tried to get the ball to Nyan Taylor, who's one of the, maybe the fastest, certainly one of the fastest, and he could not get to it. No, so there's 16 seconds remaining, equal to Ryan Leaf's number. Somebody will have to break a tackle to get a big play on. They've got three of them over there at the top of the picture. That's where he's looking, and there it goes. And it is. Intercepted, yes. Woodson, intercepted. Did Taylor catch it? No, he caught it. Did he really? I pushed, he pushed the man away from yeah, him. I thought there it. was interference, and uh, they, they ruled a catch. Diane Taylor makes the catch. Pushed the man out of the way to get there, but... Well, they got half the football field on this one throw. Watch this. Watch the watch Taylor right here. That's interference. Just shoves a man out of the way. And it's ruined the catch. And McKenzie had his flag hurt. out. Official pulled his flag out and yeah. didn't throw. I saw him reach in his pocket. That's what I thought there was going to be interference go. But he put it back. Yeah. And I think it's McKenzie who's shaken up and down over there on the sideline. He just, I don't know who it is. But it's a cougar and his timeout for it. Could be uh, if it's number two, it'd be Jackson. Twenty. Well, Keith, right now with the receiver down, it certainly gives Washington State an opportunity to get a little bit of a rest and a breather for trying to make this last strike in the end zone. But Ryan Leaf is a quarterback you'd like to have. You're down by five points, Keith. And he's got the ability to get the ball on the line from where he is now into the end zone to a receiver. And all it takes is one play, just like the last one. That was Nyan Taylor that was hurt on the play, the man who made the catch. Well, you got to do the same thing. You got to throw it in. You may, you may get two chances if you throw it quickly. Nine seconds. Penalty flag across the way. They get lead. It's Steele. But there's a flag. The game may rest right here on this call. Well, a dead ball foul before the ball was snapped. Would be a five-yard penalty. Replay the down. We need eight seconds on the clock. <laughs> he said eight. I think there were nine in all of the... Cougar fans are saying, hey, we want one more second. There were nine seconds up there. Yeah, nine seconds. Oh, well, the penalty is against Washington State. Somebody moved. Fatigue, very much a part of this whole thing now. Could be nine. Judge keeps time too. Well, for all of you Michigan fans, we go back to the, the Hail Mary that beat you a couple of years ago against Colorado. Oh, yes. They've lived through moments like this before. That, They're that, going to look at another one. That wasn't for a national championship. No. Nope. And nine seconds back on the clock now. That's, that's correct. Process, Washington State lost five yards. Before the snap. Pass. Lateral. Down to this 26-yard line. Right. 
and Love Jefferson, and there's two seconds remaining. The clock stops to move the chain. You better be ready to go with the chain to put down. You've got one play left. He's under center, fights it. Clock shows time has run out. What does the referee say? I'm waiting. <laughs>